Hi, welcome back to my channel, it's Amber. So today I've been thinking about how to declutter my life. Um, and I was just pondering on this. Um, do you ever feel like you're just too busy? Like you're just, you have too much on your to-do list um, and you have good intentions on a lot of things, but things just sometimes fall to the cracks or they're just not getting done. Well, with my five kids, um, that's definitely something that happens a lot. And I had to kind of reverse think to myself, what am I doing that's adding to this? Um, am I blaming outside sources or am I blaming myself? Is it, did I turn it all internally? Um, that it's my fault, I'm not good enough, I can't get everything done, I can't stay on top of it, I'm not a good wife, I'm not a good mom. Um, but I came to realize that we have to declutter our lives as much as we have to declutter our stuff. Um, so an example that I did was about activities for my kids. Now, when I was a young parent, I um, absolutely 100% thought, okay, my kids are all going to do piano lessons and they can each have a sport or a dance. Um, if they don't want piano, they have to have some other kind of music. Now, these things are really important to me still. Um, and I think they're good habits and good talents that we can help our kids develop. But I read a study about um, a group of kids that were studied um, regarding after school sports. So basically like a soccer team or a basketball team. And they were at school all day. Then they went to their practice like three times a week, three or four times a week. Worse if you're on a competition team. And then um, after that, they had to do their homework and whatever other chore type jobs they might have had. Um, and then they go to bed and they started all over again. And they had no downtime and these kids were exhausted and overwhelmed. And it turned out that the thing they once enjoyed, the basketball team, the soccer team, the swim team, um, the piano lessons, turned into something that they really did not enjoy. It turned out to be kind of like homework. Um, and we know, I mean, most parents know, most kids don't enjoy doing homework. They've been learning all day long and then they get home and we're over here going, please do your homework, please do your homework, get it out, come on, concentrate. And they're dragging their feet and they're slow to get started. And then once they're in it, they just kind of sit there at every single problem. And it's just very difficult for them to plow through it. Well, that was what was happening to this group of kids that was being studied, that they uh, ended up just plowing through it and not really enjoying it. Um, but the thing is, is that kids develop talents on what they're interested in, whether they have that opportunity or not. The kid that goes outside and practices his basketball on his hoop in the yard can develop his talent just as much as the kid who's on a team. In fact, when he enjoys it or she enjoys it, um, they work harder at it. And then as a parent, we can encourage that. We can play with them. We can practice with them. We can have smaller tournaments, maybe a shorter league, um, something that's more enjoyable. So they'll keep at developing that talent. If they start dragging their feet, it's going to be a battle for them to ever develop that talent. Now, as an example of this, when I was younger, my mom and dad put me in piano lessons. And granted, I had the best teacher in the world and great parents and access to a piano. Um, I wanted to have that talent, but I didn't really, really have a strong enough desire. And so it was like pulling teeth to get me to practice. And they did this for like 10 years. I mean, a really long time just practicing, you know, to try to get me to develop it and practice Amber practice and on it and on it. And even though I did, I did the bare minimum. And so therefore I don't consider myself a good pianist at all. I can read music, but I make a ton of mistakes when I'm playing. I'm not comfortable playing in front of people. I don't enjoy it in the sense of I can sit down and sight read, you know, any song. Um, and, and I have more of a regret, like, dang it, I didn't develop that talent and more of a guilt than I actually do the talent. And so um, as part of decluttering our lives here uh, at my house, we have chosen not to do those kind of things. If the kids are interested in it 
and they are asking for it and they have a big enough desire to stick with it, we will encourage them and we will keep it going. Um, um, and maybe at that time we'll do a class. But I am not putting my kids in these after school activities um, where I'm stressed out and busy and running around and we gotta go here, we gotta go here, we're running late, you know, where's your soccer socks? Oh man, I forgot this laundry. And and what about, you know, where's your leotard? Where's your dance shoes? And, um, you know, it's just hectic. I mean, you parents, you've been there, it is hectic. And I see that and I don't want that. And I want my kids to have downtime. And I don't feel like I am letting them miss out. I don't feel like I'm punishing them. Um, I feel like I'm helping them to have some calm and peace and um, time to be together, which is more important than them being experts at everything. So um, that's just one thought. Um, I have some more thoughts about how to declutter your life, um, intentionally thinking about things. If you still choose to do it, then you know you're choosing to do it and it's a high value to you. Therefore, keep your attitude in check, right? Because kids beat off of us and if we're stressed and frantic they're gonna feel stressed and frantic so um like i said i'm not saying cut out all your activities i'm just saying be intentional about it don't do it just because that's what everybody else is doing it do it because that makes sense for you and your kids in your life and you will feel a sense of relief knowing i'm doing this on purpose um i want to do this and it's not this expectation that's just looming over us and we have no idea where the expectation came from we were just born with it i guess right it came from the world it's not from us um so um anyways if you like um tips and ideas about how to intentionally declutter your life not just your stuff stay tuned um i've got more ideas and videos coming talk to you later bye guys